Hello colleagues, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, we are going to explore the basis of one of instrument transformers called current transformer. In a power system substation, designing measuring instruments like ammeters, watt hour meters, and protective relays to directly handle very high currents, ranging from hundreds to thousands of amperes, is both technically challenging and impractical. In the presence of these challenges, current transformer was found to suit for the application. A current transformer is designed to transform high primary current to a standardized, lower secondary current, usually 5 amps or 1 amp, making it easier to measure and monitor. These current transformers are widely used in electrical engineering for measuring alternating current AC, and for protection systems in power systems. They are designed to step down primary current to measurable value. This mechanism allows safety, accurate measurements, and protection of power system. To understand this in detail, let us dive deeper into current transformers. Stick around as we explore how they work and what makes them essential. Welcome back. If you are new to my YouTube channel, please support the channel by sharing and subscribing to the channel. Hit the subscription button so that you will stay updated on all my latest posts. Now let us continue. So, how does this current transformer actually works? Let us see how it operates. When an alternating current AC from transmission line is supplied to the primary winding of the current transformer, whereas the secondary is linked to instruments used for measurement, sensing, or protection. Typically, the primary side of a current transformer consists of just a single turn, usually the conductor carrying the line current that passes through the current transformer's core window. It is rare for the primary to have more than a few turns. Whereas the secondary winding contains multiple turns, the exact number of turns depends on how much the current needs to be reduced. This secondary winding is wrapped around a laminated core made of ferromagnetic material, and the ends of this coil are connected to the measurement devices like ammeter. The alternating current flowing through the primary generates a corresponding alternating magnetic field in the core. This, in turn, induces an alternating current in the secondary winding as it is coiled around the magnetic core. The induced current in the secondary is directly related to the primary current, and is governed by the ratio of turns between the two windings. The ratio of the primary current to the maximum current the measuring instruments can handle determines the current transformer's turns ratio. Typically, the secondary current in such transformers is standardized at 5 amps. For instance, if a current transformer is built to monitor a 1000 amps primary current, the turns ratio would be 1000 is to 5. This implies the secondary must have 200 turns. So, this is how the winding configuration is made to meet up the required current and expectations. In summary, as we have known what current transformer is, it is important to look at the safety measures involved in the designing and handling of current transformers by personnel in the field. One critical design aspect of current transformers is that their secondary circuits are not meant to be left open. Here, I will extensively explain the reasons why leaving the secondary circuit of a current transformer open is dangerous, and the potential repercussions that follows it. So, let us go into details. When the secondary circuit of a current transformer is open-circuited, no current flows in the secondary winding. However, the primary winding is still carrying its rated load current. As a result of this, a very high voltage will develop across the open terminals of the secondary winding due to the inductance of the winding. To understand this easily, it is important to know the inductive effect of transformers, as the current of the secondary circuit is highly stepped down, the voltage at the same time will goes extremely high. This is to say that current and voltage are inversely related during transformation. At this point, 
The open-circuited secondary of a current transformer can generate dangerously high voltages, potentially reaching thousands of volts. This occur because the magnetic flux in the core continues to increase as there is no load across the secondary circuit. In summary, the basic thing to know is that, as current is stepping down, voltage is stepping up simultaneously in current transformers. Because of this increased in voltage, current transformer secondary circuit should not left open. As we have explored the dangerous aspect of current transformers, now, let us analyze the implications of this open circuit of secondary circuit of current transformers. These implications includes the followings. Number 1. Risk of electric shock. The high voltage is hazardous and poses a serious risk of huge electric shock to personnel, who may come into contact with the secondary circuit. Number 2. Equipment damage. The insulation of the secondary winding and associated equipment like measurement devices, relays, etc., may not withstand such high voltages, leading to insulation breakdown and physical damage. Number 3. Core saturation. When the secondary circuit is left open, the current transformer can become saturated. This occurs because the high voltage may lead to excessive magnetic flux, which can cause the core material to reach its saturation point. Once it is saturated, the current transformer will not produce accurately scaled output, which compromises measurements and protection functionalities, leading to erroneous readings. Number 4. Operating safety standards. Most electrical codes and safety standards such as IEEE and IEC specifically address the operation of current transformers, emphasizing that their secondary windings should never be left open during operation. Creating them as integral components of protection and measurement devices also implies that protective measures must be in place to avoid open circuit scenarios. Number 5. Protection system malfunction. In protection schemes, current transformers are used to detect overloads, short circuits, and other fault conditions. An open secondary can lead to 1. Failure to trip. The protective relay could fail to operate correctly, resulting in a failure to trip circuit breakers in the event of overcurrent conditions. 2. False alarms. It could also result in false or nuisance alarms in supervisory systems, because the secondary is unable to deliver a correct representation of primary current. Summarily, by following safety precautions, you can ensure safe and reliable operation of current transformers. Having discussed current transformer implications, let us now examine why current transformer is important. A current transformer is a type of instrument used to measure or sense large alternating currents by scaling it to a smaller, safer and measurable value. It transforms the primary current to a proportional secondary value in terms of magnitude and phase. Current transformers are available in various sizes and shapes, and are used as an interface between high currents and measuring sensing devices. Now, let us examine some importance of current transformers in our power systems. These includes the followings. 1. Isolation. Current transformers provide electrical isolation between the primary and secondary circuits, which is crucial for safety. This isolation protects measurement and protection devices from high voltages present on the primary side, ensuring the safety of personnel and equipment. 2. Accurate measurement. Current transformers enable accurate measurement of high currents, which is essential for monitoring and control in power systems. By accurately measuring current, Utilities and industries can optimize their operations, detect anomalies, and prevent potential issues. 3. Protection. Current transformers play a critical role in protective relaying, detecting faults and triggering circuit breakers to isolate faulty sections. This ensures grid stability and safety, preventing damage to equipment and minimizing downtime. 4. Scaling. Current transformers step down high currents to levels suitable for measurement instruments, reducing the risk of damage. This scaling enables the use of standard measurement devices, which are typically designed for lower current ranges. 5. Cost effective. By allowing the use of standard measurement devices for high current applications, current transformers reduce costs. 
Without current transformers, specialized and often expensive measurement devices would be required, increasing costs and complexity. 6. Reliability. Current transformers are designed for continuous operation, providing reliable current measurement and protection. Their robust design and construction ensure that they can withstand the rigors of power system operation, providing accurate and reliable data over extended periods. The widespread use of current transformers in power systems, industrial applications, and electrical distribution networks is a testament to their importance. They are crucial components in ensuring the safe, efficient, and reliable operation of electrical systems. In conclusion, leaving the secondary of a current transformer open-circuited is a hazardous practice that can lead to high voltages, risk of electrical shock, equipment damage, inaccurate measurements, and challenges for protection systems. It is crucial for electrical engineers and technicians to understand these implications, and ensure that current transformer secondary circuits are always properly terminated with a load, or relay, even when not in active measuring or protective use. Protective devices should include circuits that limit voltage and protect personnel from high voltage scenarios. Proper training and adherence to industry standards can mitigate the risks associated with current transformer operation. Here, we bring to an end for today's session. If this tutorial is helpful to you, please support the channel by subscribing and sharing the video. Thank you for your support. Stay tuned, I will see you again in my next class. Bye for now.